It's an absolute idyllic um, oasis. It's changed our lives completely. It's wonderful, really wonderful. So for me, going into the pool in the morning, it, it's just switching off from the pressures of life and you're in this space. And then when you finish your swim, you just feel completely clear of, of any thoughts that might be bothering you going in and you're suddenly energised and ready for your day. I mean, I retired and just the week the pool was finished, so the timing couldn't have been more perfect. And it's, you know, it keeps me fit and keeps me energised. It makes you feel like a new woman. <laughs> and when people come around and see it for the first time, the first word they just go is, wow. It, it surprises how quickly nature came to the pool. Yeah. So within a matter of days, we suddenly had whirly gigs uh, and uh, water boatmen that were, that were in the pool. And then you have something to look at. It's not just you in the pool, there's other wildlife around you and you feel like you're sharing it with them. Mm. Um, the dragonfly hatch this year was nothing short of spectacular. This week we had a kingfisher on the edge of the pool. Not many people have a kingfisher in their garden. I drew the curtains back and I thought, gosh, that's a big robin. And then I saw the flash of green there and it, it was just wonderful. We've had swallows. Mm -hmm die bombing oh, yeah. us in the in the water in as well pool. catching yeah. their insects it's been an absolute joy to see wildlife alongside yourself it's like wild swimming but literally within but the comfort of your own, own <laughs> yes. back garden it's incredible yeah. so, so one of the aspects of the pool that we wanted was to have a pool that was two meters deep and that was really to to keep the heat uh, when it was when it was cold and also to take a long time to heat up perhaps when it was too hot we didn't want the pool to be too shallow and get too warm um, so we, we for us, we swim, I guess, between about 12 degrees and when it gets hot to about 25, 26. Our maintenance is regular but pretty minimal, really no more than you do for a garden and certainly no more you do for any normal pool. And we've got the little the hut as well where we can be in the winter time, uh, so it's, it's wonderful. We, we decided to go with the, the stone, with the, the fountain at the far end, and that has two purposes really. It, it helps to oxygenate the water it creates a surface flow for the skimmer, but it's an aesthetic, it is fantastic to have that noise across the yeah. pool during the daytime and in the evening as well. So it really adds a huge dimension. So I think at first, when you look at a project of this scale, you know, we, we didn't know anything about natural pools, but I think working with uh, Sarah and, and her team and her engineer, we, we soon became very clear that this was, you know, they were equally serious about what they do, uh, but from concept to execution, it's absolutely first class and uh, I could Very not highly rec recommend yeah. the Elicar team anymore.